Well, our leftist brethren across the aisle, Democrats, have always had their eye on regulation. I mean, it's their favorite thing in the world. And now the FEC wants to regulate Internet campaigns, which for all intents and purposes will end up meaning everybody's blogs <laughs> and chat rooms even. Joining me now to discuss this is Sunny Bunch of the Washington Free Beacon. Sunny, good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for having me on. This... Um, I, I, this seems so broad, this, this desire to go and regulate you know, any political action online. I mean, am I, I mean I'm, I'm not exaggerating, correct? I mean, this would even encompass chat rooms, chat rooms, blogs, parody. I mean, give us sort of the overview as to what all this would affect. Uh, sure. So the FEC is uh, considering a regulation that would... Um, uh, basically do exactly that. It would, it would uh, restrict what you could say on, say, Twitter or Facebook. Oh, uh, gosh. And they're, yeah, I know, it's, uh, they're, they're We're all in pretty, trouble, Sonny. They're pretty intent on, well, <laughs> if, they, if they've checked my Twitter feed, they certainly are. Well, or, I certainly am. Yeah, well, what is the intent of this? I mean, obviously, individuals are smart people. We can realize. I mean, I don't under, We can realize if somebody's doing something as part of an official campaign, or if this is someone's, you know, personal preference. I don't understand. I guess the motivation behind such broad reach across the internet for this. You know, I think uh, a lot of it has to do with uncertainty over who is funding what campaigns. You know, I, I and also, frankly, I think there's just that impulse by the FEC to control. They, they, uh, they have this idea that they are the arbiters of what should be said and shouldn't be, and mm -hmm. this is uh, what they want to do. Right. Now, the chairman is a Republican, if I'm not mistaken, Lee Goodman. So is this something that he supports? Uh, does he support extending such regulations so far as to affect basically all manner of discourse online? Uh, he does not. He has said that the Republicans are... Uh, steadfast opposed to this, that they are going to fight the Democrats on this. And because it's a 3-3 three, three, uh, deadlock between mm. Republicans and, and uh, Democrats right now, it should be, uh, it, it, it will have, a, they'll have a hard time getting this through. Right. Well, I would, I would hope so. But the fact that they've gotten this far, I mean, is this kind of just seeding the ground perhaps for maybe a, a future abridgment, do you think? It could be a trial balloon. You know, you never, you can never tell with these things. Uh, you, you set this idea out there, you campaign on it in 2015 and 2016. Oh, the, the Republicans won because they were able to spread their lies on social media. And, you know, you can tie this back to the, uh, the, the so-called Truthy uh, website, right? right? That was designed by social scientists to kind of look at what is, uh, you know, what is quote unquote true. Uh, in terms of our, our discourse, right. what is grassroots as opposed to astroturfed, you know, it creates this kind of momentum, right, where you can, you, you can say, well, the FEC really needs to get a, get a hold of this. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, before we go, the seven deadly virtues you contributed to this book. It's up at Amazon. Uh, 18 conservative writers on why the virtuous life is funny as hell. Was this, fun, was this as fun to write for you, Sonny, this, your essay uh, in this as it was to read? It was a it's it's a great it was a ton of fun to write but I mean you shouldn't you should definitely should not buy this book because uh, I I contributed to it Jonah Goldberg wrote a chapter Christopher Buckley uh, you know mm. the author yeah, of Thank really You for Smoking wrote a here. chapter um, yeah it's it's a it's a really it's a heck of a it's a heck of a team that Jonathan Last put together and uh, frankly you know it's 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 a conservative book but it's kind of a sneakily conservative book it's very funny and it it deals with a lot of. Uh, a lot of topics that that people uh, you know might not necessarily think a conservative can handle well, but uh, do we have, uh, Matt Laybash, for instance, too. extremely. We have a sense of humor too. I know. I, <laughs> so yeah, most of us. Yeah. Most of us. Uh, but you know, Matt Laybash, for instance, wrote a great chapter on chastity, uh, and and it's the the only book where you're going to find a a pro chastity ma message that also can kind of joke about porn star names. You know, it's it's a fun it's a fun book. Well, I look forward to, uh, to actually finishing it. The Seven Deadly Virtues, Sunny Bunch with the Washington Free Beacon. Thanks so much.